Hey everyone, how's all your writing coming along? As mentioned, it's the season for Nano. We know you're busy, so we'll try to keep this short and simple for all our sakes. The best way to start this episode off is by asking ourselves a simple question. How do writers write? It seems like such an obvious thing to ask, but to be fair, this is the 21st century. We, as writers, have come a long way from the days of quills and scrolls. Even the days of seeing authors scribbling handwritten novels into journals is an antiquated image, while the normal idea of a modern writer shows someone hunched over a laptop slapping away at their keys in rhythmic fashion. Given our very internet-obsessed climate and our very strong emphasis on content creation, there are a wealth of tools out there for writers to access. But since they're a niche concern, it's sometimes a little hard to find them. So we've done the grunt work for you. We're going to introduce you to a few different applications that you might like for your writing. We are not affiliated with any of these websites. We just think some of them are pretty cool and have something nice to offer. We don't promise that they'll work for you, but we bet that one or two will perk your ears up. Let's check them out. 750 words. To be true, this is the best writing tool I've ever come across. 750 words offers a simple word processor for your writing with a twist. They encourage you to write 750 words every single day. Your reward is some pretty sweet badges, as well as a point scoring system. If you hit 750 words for every day, you get a check mark on the monthly log. To top it off, they offer automated graphs, word per minute counts, along with free analysis of your words for the Regressive Image Dictionary and Linguistic Inquiry System, which can show you what emotions and topics were most prevalent in whatever you were writing. This is great for encouraging writing because it convinces you to build a daily routine around writing. And the fact that it gamifies the idea of writing, giving you the ability to earn points and badges for your accomplishments, is a pretty sweet deal. I use this. I just hit my 30-day streak. Yarny. This is a browser-based word processor that uses a cloud for organization. There's nothing you have to download. Just click the button to start writing and everything is at your fingertips. The word processor itself is fairly bare bones and free of clutter. But they also offer a lot of other features to help you stay organized. Snippets help you categorize different things such as scenes or chapters, and their People's Places Things feature allows you to build a series of notes off to the side of your main text. You can also tag your text so you'll be able to locate specific sections more easily. Finally, this is all based off of a cloud, meaning anything you write is saved to your private account on their site. This way, if your computer crashes, all your content is safe and sound waiting for you to pick up where you left off. Scrivener. Maybe minimalism isn't your style. Maybe what you need is a giant billboard to offer up a plethora of all the information you need. Here's the tool for you. Scrivener balances word processing with project management. Edit multiple documents simultaneously, use a corkboard to organize your notes. There are literally tons of features offered. Collect your work, export it to elsewhere, or just sit back and type on a clean word processor in full screen mode so you won't have to deal with all those pesky distractions. At the moment, this service runs $40 for Mac users, but they offer a free trial, and Windows users can download the beta for free. If you're the analytical, keep things neat and organized type of writer, this is perfect for you. Why Writer? This is a tool made with novelists in mind. It's a little tricky to get used to at first, and may not be as sexy as Scrivener, but offers some of the same tools without the hefty price tag. This one is strictly for Windows users, but if you're pounding away on a PC, you're in for a treat. You can organize your text by chapters or scenes, and there's a plethora of ways that you can outfit your text with notes and plot development in the background. You can also use their storyboard system and their cool editor system. Definitely worth a look-see. Focus Writer. Who needs tools, right? That's the idea behind Focus Writer. This freeware application available for pretty much any type of computer gives you a simple, no-fuss word process. You can customize the background and the text, and then focus in on your tasks, as the word processor fills up the entire screen so you're not tempted by silly distractions such as Facebook. It also provides some timers and alarms, a daily goal manager, and a few extra little bells and whistles. If you're looking for a free, easy, and efficient way to get some writing done, you'll definitely want to download this. My Tomatoes. This is a sweet place if you're one of those types that loves a more fast-paced, competitive, make-me-do-the-work type of writing. My Tomatoes is a writer's twist on the Pomodoro technique. It sets a timer for 25 minutes and allows you to start writing as fast and as fluidly as you can. When the timer rings, you stop writing and take a 5 minute break before launching into another round of fevered writing. This is a great way to squeeze out a lot of content in a short period of time, and a great way for writing sprints and word wars. 7th Sanctum Need some names for your characters? Maybe a scene or a setting? Looking for a generator that might help you get the gears turning? You have found your heaven. 7th Sanctum offers more generators than I've ever seen before, and I really can't begin to tell you about them all. This is one of those things that is better experienced firsthand than shown to you. But this website is great if you're feeling a little hung up and need a little boost. It's completely free, you don't have to download anything, and it's all there for you. Check it out. Ride or Die Finally, one for all the masochists in the crowd. 
Is all this other stuff a little too fluffy and cute for you? Need someone to really whip you upside the behind and get you to do your writing? Ride or Die is exactly what you're looking for. It gives you a no-fuss word processor aimed at keeping you focused and not allowing you to get distracted. If you're into gentle mode, you'll get a friendly little pop-up warning you to focus. If you're on normal mode, you might get rickrolled until you start typing again. And if you're into kamikaze mode, your story will begin to unwrite itself and delete your most recent text. This idea is the cattle prod method of writing, forcing you to focus on creating content by giving you real, tangible consequences for distraction. If you're the type that gets easily distracted, write or die will torture you into submission. That's all we've got for you this week. If you were looking for a way to start writing, these are some cool websites that you want to check out. Give them all a try. Keep up those word totals and we'll see you later.